So I just figured out how to install MCP server for NAN that's self-hosted on railway. It's been a big unlock for me. And in the past, if I want to use Firecrawl to scrape a website, I need to go through a workflow that looks like this. That has to do multiple calls and waits. Uh, but now I can just use the Firecrawl MCP server to get all of the data. I just need to tell it in plain English, scrape for the links in some website, and then it gets all the links for me for that website. And I will talk about how to set that up. So I assume that you already set up your NAN server on Railway. And the reason why I'm using Railway is because it's very easy to set up NAN on Railway. You can set it up with the template. I made a video about that before, so you can go check it out. Uh, so far, there is not a tutorial about how to add MCP server hosting on Railway uh, because usually you have to access the terminal of the server because you have to run the command within the, the server. Um, and Railway doesn't really let you access the terminal within the Railway interface. Uh, so what you need to do is to have a Docker file that install all of those packages um, so you have that access. Um, so maybe that sounds too complicated for you, um, but it's actually pretty simple. Uh, so if you have this project set up on Railway, um, you just click on the main uh, NAN server, which will be the one that has the link. And you go into settings, and then you see there's this thing called source. Then you click on disconnect. Now this is disconnected from the official NAN Docker file, um, but not to worry because we have a different Docker file that is referencing the official Docker file, Docker file that I've created. It's very simple. So it's taking the original NAN Docker file and then adding other uh, MCP server packages on top of it. Uh, so in this example, I'm using Firecrawl MCP server, where you just run npm install uh, globally. Uh, this dash g just means that it's accessible uh, within the server, so that NAN will have access to it as well. So if you just do that and install Firecrawl dash MCP, then you will have access in your NAN as well. So I wrote this uh, simple Docker file for you. So you can just go to this repo and click on the fork button. Then you can fork it into your own uh, GitHub account. Then you can make adjustment to the Docker file that you like. Then in the end, um, you should have a repository. Then you go back to Railway and click on connect repo. And in here, um, you can see that I have a repo called custom NAN MCP. Then now this, now this server is connected to that repo. So when I click on deploy, you will use that Docker file to deploy and, and build the image. So while that's building, um, there's another thing that you need to add is an environment variable. So you need to add this environment variable called NAN community packages allow tool usage and then you go to true. Just copy that. Then you go into the variable section, go to raw editor. You can just paste it down to the bottom. Click on update. Click on deploy again. So after all of that, you should have the NAN with uh, NCP availability. There's one more step you need to do. You need to go into your NAN interface and then you click on settings on the bottom left side. Then under community nodes, you want to search for NAN nodes MCP. So what you do is just type it in here, NAN nodes MCP. 
you check the box and you click on install. I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed here. Then after that, you should have access to the MCP node that looks like this. So what you do, you just click on, when you have the AI agent node, click on the plus button, type in MCP, then you should see MCP client tool, and which is this thing right here. I just have it renamed to Firecraft MCP. And what you want to do in here, you want to set up the credential. Credential is just the command that it runs for the MCP server. So whatever the MCP server you, you find, they should have a documentation. And in here, uh, usually you will say running with MPX, then you will see that they have this command here. Uh, initially, it, inf just means the environment variable. And then after that, that's the, the Firecrawl API key. And mpx is the command that it runs. And then y firecrawl dash ncp, that's just the arguments. The credential parts, command you want to put in mpx, arguments you put in dash y firecrawl dash mcp. Um, dash y, the y flag just means that you say yes to all the questions. Then the environment, the environment will be firecrawl API key equal. Then you put in the, the API key you get from firecrawl and you click on save and you go back in here. Uh, they have different operations, uh, but in firecrawl, I'm most curious about the execute tools. In the tool name, I have this thing uh, from AI and I have the key as tool name. So what this does is that it lets the AI decide what the, the tool name should be. And also in the tool parameters, I also set it to define automatically by the model, which just means that the AI will decide. So you might wonder how does the, the AI knows what, what to fill in here. So this is something that you need to do in the system prompt. So in the system prompt in here, um, so what I did here, it looks complicated, but uh, ChatGPT to generate all of this, you can go into the documentation of whatever the MCP server that you have, and you go to the part where they explain all the tools. And so for Firecrawl, it says available tools. So I copy, in, I copy all of this. I think I went here, and then I copy all of this, paste it in there, and I ask it to convert following to a system prompt for AI agent in charge of using a firecrawl. Then it generates this whole system prompt for me. And because the AI agent has context of what to write for different arguments and what the tool name should be, um, so whenever a user is saying in plain English, I, I, I want to scrape this page, uh, then you will call the scrape tool. That's pretty much how you can set up MCP server on NNN uh, hosted in Railway. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If you find it helpful, let's connect on LinkedIn, let's chat. See ya.